What? Mm-hmm. <clears throat>
did him on the backwards. <clears throat> so I gotta redo him. Okay, start over. Okay, so a uh, new project I've got is I shouldn't talk to Yoli because she she's always rearranging things and coming up with better ideas. Now she's got a new ideas for stamps. It's actually um, in a state, you know, Natasha. And so I just got done with the pizza boxes, but this one sounds even better. So I rushed out today and bought some uh, CD cases at Staples and got online and grabbed some cling mount from, dang it, I did it again. Cling mount from um, Stamper's Best. And I'm going to redo my stamps. Because they sound, um, oh, and I bought a, what do you call it? A, um, a heat, oh, a hot knife or a heat knife or a, a something. I've got it. I'll show it to you when I do it. Well, <clears throat> I shouldn't say that because it might be three years from now at the rate I go sometimes. Okay, so I'm making my little um, birthday tickler minis for the swap and um, at your paper pantry. Many things to do swap. By the way, we have um, all our signups are going on right now. And we've got, I'm going to um, do a video on those too because there's some changes and rearranges and <clears throat> new hostesses and moderators and whatnot. So we got lots going on. But these are the little, um, I showed a video on how to fold the um, papers, cut and fold paper for the little um, pages. And you just take an 8x8 piece of paper, and you want double-sided works best. And you score it at 4 inches vertically, and um, turn it, and score it over at 5 inches. So then you fold it up, and you've got a little pocket. And what you can do is, when you're assembling it, if you want, you can tape this down. You know, put some score tape or glue, whatever, because you're going to bind it here. But if you adhere this, then you've got a pocket for a tag in here, too. I'm not sure if I'm going to do that part yet. <clears throat> so my cover is what I'm working on now. And I love these little stamp boutique. When I first saw them, I thought, what in the name? But they just grow on you. They're so darn cute. Plus, it's kind of a rebellious critter farm act on my part. Just kidding. So I'm using Sassafras Lass. <clears throat> I'm just doing the paper piecing. It's funny, this paper piecing, this has been around forever, at least since, oh my gosh, I think we were doing it back in mid-90s, but it kind of went by the wayside, and now it's back again. <clears throat> I think because stamping, a lot of scrapbookers are getting into, have gotten into stamping. At least that's what uh, the impression I got when I um, was exposed to stampers was that they don't really, or not stampers, scrappers, was that they don't, at the time, didn't stamp a lot. And I think now that's kind of changing, especially with mini books and tags and all the above. So he's kind of got little mod pants on. <laughs> and then his little Argyle t-shirt with his heart on his shirt. 
Isn't he cute? There's a weird little, there must be lint on the stamp, or was. There's a little pee there. So I'm just going to leave it. <clears throat> so, um, I, if you haven't seen my Barbie video, it was so much fun. And we've decided that what we're going to do next is... <clears throat> I'm gonna <clears throat> excuse me. Invite a couple more people over, and we're gonna um, pick out our favorite Barbie outfit, and then um, paint it on wine glass. Because I, you know, kind of combine the two little projects that I've shown uh, my friends here. So I thought that would be kind of fun. Actually, that was Lori's idea. I can't take credit for that. We were planning on doing that on um, Sunday, but we got so involved and engrossed in our dolls. Actually, she got totally engrossed in cutting the doll's hair, which turned out to be... Somebody asked what it turned out to be, and it's turned out to be pretty bad. So we didn't show that. <clears throat> I think I'm going to just... I just cut out the little banner from the little Ginny Bowen banner punch for his hat. And then I'll try to find something to put on the end of it. <coughs> so I'm going to cut him out and I'll be back. Okay, then I've got all these little borders from the pages that I cut off to use for the um, my pages. So I think I'm going to just use these for decoration on here. <clears throat>
what I like about the ATG um, glue is it sticks like crazy, but you can always roll it off, you know, rub it off. All right. <clears throat> So that's my cover. But the covers, I kind of like to glue so that you can position them more easily. Then the ATG, once you get the ATG on there, it's a little hard to reposition because it, you know, like I said, it does stick. Where if you use glue, You've got a little bit of an opportunity to pull it off and move it around or slide it over a little bit. The only drawback is that it can get bubbly and come through, but we're going to pray that it doesn't. And then I'm not positive yet if I'm going to do a cinch binding or three rings. So that I'm going to have to. And then I'm going to add some of these. I just found these at Michael's. They're all in clearance. They're the Pebbles Felties. Really cute. So that's one cover done. Not done, but getting there. So I will be back. And I just wanted to share the birthday tickler book that I made for the many things to do swap over on your paper pantry and I kind of did a two-fold swap I am in, in a contest with May Arts and they supplied ribbons to do a little project so um, I loved the colors of these there's a yellow kind of a check here I'll go a little closer for you can see <clears throat> And then this really pretty orange, or kind of a mandarin color, and a hot pink, and a really pretty blue, if you can see that. And that's, the, the blue is a little bit of a velvet, so. Um, I use the uh, Sassafras Last Papers, <clears throat> excuse me, throughout the book. And um, this is stamp from Stampotique. And I can't remember who makes these. I want to say maybe Inka Dinka do. I'm not sure. But it says happy birthday. I just didn't stamp that. So um, I just love this little guy. I think he's I think he's called Heart Boy. And he's got a big head. And to me, I think it looks like Tim Burton meets Charlie Brown. So um, I just really love the Stampotique stamps. They're, they're kind of a... Um, backlash to the Critter Farm stamps. Anyways, maybe not a backlash, but a, I don't know what you'd call it. <laughs> I don't know what I'd call it. Anyways, I just, um, I found these little felties at Michael's. They were on sale, so I bought a bunch of those, and then I just added some little, little bits of bling, and uh, $1.50 Michael's flower. And I paper pieced um, Heart Boy. I used, um, there's a pattern in the paper that I use from Sassafras, and I kind of stamped his shirt so it looked kind of argyle. And then I love his little kind of sprocket pants, and then I put stamped his boots or his shoes onto craft paper. And then I used a little bit of red stickles for his heart. And um, this is the Ginny Bolin banner punch with some more Sassafras paper, and I just put little pom-poms on and then colored him in with Copics. And these are borders from the paper lines I used. So um, what I did, we just had to make a pocket, um, pocket pages, and I have a video on making that. Um, so this is Recollections journal spots that I have, and then another little felty, and this is another Recollection 
pack of journal spots and I just used um, index cards that are lined horizontally so people can keep lists of their friends and families and their birth dates and these are um, Stampology stamps. It's a stamp that I had and what's nice about it is um, it doesn't, it's not like a year, it's any year stamp or a month so if you know like say today was January 4th, Tuesday, you know, you're going to be able to figure out it's, it's a perpetual month stamp, basically. Right? Easy for me to say. Okay, so then what I did, I just stamped that on some color box paper, color book paper. Everybody says color box, and it's actually color book because of the accent. So, of course, what do I do? I say color box. Um, anyways, um, the, the solid colors is color book. And um, these little trims are from Basic Gray Ribbon Doilies. I've I think it was uh, maybe Peachy Cheap or one of those sites had a little um, deal a couple few weeks ago where you could get I think about four packs of these for you know a few bucks whatever so I put those on all the edges and then I just stamped every other month and that's all and then I just did some Ginny Bolin I'll oh, see now these I've got to pinch them they're staying down a little bit. Um, yeah, Jenny Bolin uh, tabs, and then these are Martha Stewart Little Punch. And then that's this one. Um, they're all a little different because I use different pockets, but the covers are basically all the same other than the, the trim. Okay, and then I just put them in a little bag for kind of a birthday fun thing. So that's mine, and then I'm going to get everybody else's out and show you what everybody else did.